Welcome to another episode of CBN's Trial Technique Spotlight. Today, we're going to look at the importance of using a demonstrative exhibit in opening statement. And we're going to see something that I know you've probably never seen before. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Shane Reed. I'm a former civil assistant United States attorney. I've written a lot of trial lawyer textbooks and I'm now a trial consultant. And what I love doing when I advise lawyers is showing them clips from actual trials from CBN to prove how to get better. So today, this is a, a wonderful case where the plaintiff was suing for alleged leg injuries that he got when he got hit by a forklift. And you've got to make this story come to life. Well, what most lawyers would do is just tell the jury what happened, but this plaintiff's attorney did something very unique. I've never seen it done before. And before we get to that clip, uh, let me just give you a little background. Uh, the plaintiff was excited about a, a new job he had. He was going to uh, a meeting. He just had all his dreams before him, as the plaintiff's attorney was going to say. And you're first going to see kind of a, a map of where he was walking that day. And then we're going to see this demonstrative exhibit. So let's get right to the video clip. I'm just going to walk down to that quad right there, the pharmacy school, and do his thing. Everything was great, right? Finally, it had all come together. And then, with that mindset, look how fast his life changed. And I'm going to show this to you. Yeah. <laughs> Even this exhibit's heavy. What I'd like you to do, hold on. Uh, what I'd like you to do is just bring this over here. Put two hands, one high, and just hold that, okay? Bring it back just a touch. A little bit more. A little bit more, right there. Okay, now I'm going to go to the He's walking down the street. Everything's great, right? Two seconds later. <clears throat> what do you think he's thinking about now? Screaming. 911 call. They're trying to rock the thing off of him. I mean, just this exhibit is heavy. It hurts. All of those dreams, all of those ambitions at that moment in time that he had, out the window. You think he's thinking about that stuff anymore? And they say, give him a scooter. What do you think? You think he's going to be the same? No way. You saw his calf. There's a big chunk missing from his right calf. His Achilles tendon is contracted. His toes fused. Nerve injury. Blood vessel injury. Swelling at the end of the day. What I love about that clip is there's just not a picture of the forklift. It's life size. And not only that, did you notice how the attorney said even the exhibit is heavy? So imagine what a real forklift would have done. And he gets on a council table. It's a great visual image. He talks about what is he thinking about now and pauses. So it really sinks in with the jury. So the jury has time to imagine what the real forklift must have really done as Achilles, his calf muscle, the nerves in his leg. That is an image that will stay with the jurors throughout the entire trial. It wound up in a huge verdict of over $10 million. That's the power of a demonstrative exhibit and not just a picture, but a life-size one. And then it's coupled with a demonstration. And I haven't spoken with this attorney, but I know that he practiced that multiple times. So he wasn't just fumbling around when he got on the council table. 
that he thought it through where his pauses were going to be to really show how powerful this could, exhibit could be and make it memorable for the jury. So think about that for your next trial. How can you be creative? If you want uh, more information about my trial tips, you can sign up for my newsletter at the link below. I've got bonus uh, information and it comes out twice a month. And also, if you want to learn more how to get better, go to CBN's vast library of videos of actual trials to learn. It's the best way. See you next time.